What's going on, family? Robert here. So when I was a young kid growing up in the Baptist church, I always remember that whenever an invitation would be given, they would always sing the exact same song. And the song was, was simply called, Come to Jesus. It said, Come to Jesus just now, just now. And then it would go, He will save you. He will save you just now. And as I think about that song and I think about the fondness of, of growing up in church and watching people come down the aisle and, and accept Christ, it makes me think of what Jesus says in the words of John chapter 7, looking beginning at verse 37. Jesus says these words. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures has said, out of his heart will flow rivers, some say torrents, of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Here in the text, we see Jesus speaking on the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles, a feast that he said he wasn't initially going to go up to for, to his brothers, but then he privately went up and started speaking and teaching in the temple. His teaching caused division among the different Jews. It caused division among the, the Pharisees and the religious leaders. And, and some people believed in what he said, and some people just could not fathom how he could be the Messiah. But then here, on the last day of the feast, Jesus stood up in the midst of the crowd and invited everyone to come to him. And he promised that when, they, when a person comes to him, that from his heart will flow rivers, will flow torrents of living water. Jesus here says that he is the one who satisfies our thirst, satisfies our thirst for the things that this world says will satisfy, but never fully does. Have you ever gotten like a new phone or a new electronic or or some new gadget and, and you, you liked it when you first got it, you opened a box, you read the instructions, maybe, and, and you and you were you enjoyed it for maybe a month, maybe, maybe a couple of months, maybe even six months to a year, but at some point in time the luster began to wear off. At some point in time, it began to break down. At some point in time, you probably had to throw whatever that was away. That thirst that started out so high for that thing that you received eventually came to nothing. And you probably wanted something new or the newest model or something better. Well, I want to encourage you today that Jesus, his words here in this text, say that he will satisfy our thirst and he will satisfy it eternally and he will satisfy it forever. Jesus is the only one who can make this bold promise and he is the only one who could stand up at this great feast and tell people to come to him to satisfy the need, the desire, and the longing in their life. So the question I want to ask you today is, what need what desire, what longing do you presently have in your life today? What place do you need Jesus to satisfy? Well, let me encourage you today that he invites you to come to him for satisfaction. He invites you to come to him for relief. He invites you to come to him for healing and restoration. And he invites you to come to him so you can experience his overwhelming love. Brothers and sisters, Jesus invites us all and he will come and he will comfort us by the spirit which has been poured out on us. So I want to encourage you today that if you are thirsty for something today, why not taste and see Jesus? Because he promises to satisfy completely. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for these words that you spoke over these over 2,000 years ago, that you are the one who satisfies us. Help us to realize that as we look and thirst for things in this world that can never fully satisfy our desires. But there is one thing that we know, one person that we know 
who does and will. And that's you. Help us to seek satisfaction in you and nothing else. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotionals. God bless.